What's wrong? Huh? Are you... Hello. I do apologize for the sudden intrusion. We found this guy in the street, but he doesn't seem to remember anything. <laughs> so... You say that you are trekking across to Vat to train yourself. Hmm. Many other Inazumans who describe themselves in this way call themselves Shugenja. Why do you refer to yourself as a wanderer? Well, it seems more relevant in my case. To me, it sounds like a plant with no roots. But these two claim that they know me, and that I have a hidden past unknown even to myself. I wouldn't call it the past, but rather... Uh, this is a difficult one to exp... I don't like to rely on using terms like this often, but in your case, it seems that it ought to be called a uh, previous incarnation. Oh, like a past life or something? Yes, something far more distant than the past. So far away that you cannot perceive it. Okay. I have to ask, what was... Um... <laughs> oh, okay. I see. You want to tell me, but you can't bring yourselves to say it. Looks like I didn't have the most wonderful existence in my previous incarnation. If it's that difficult to talk about, I have no doubt it will be just as difficult to hear. But I'll be able to handle it. Please. Is truth something you care a lot about? Yes. Then I'll be straight with you. In your previous incarnation, you did many things that would be considered evil. You nearly died because of what other people did. And many died because of you. As a non-human being, you hated gods and humans alike. You drifted from place to place, never able to settle, even where you found status and identity. You adamantly believed that you were missing a heart. <sighs> Actions rooted in persistence sometimes bear bitter fruit. Sometimes, you have to let parts of yourself go. I gave everything I had, but it barely changed history at all. In terms of the outcome alone, that's true. Hmm. I don't think I can judge everything I've heard purely in terms of right and wrong. Each choice a person makes belongs to a specific place in time, a chain of cause and effect, a cycle of karma and consequence. That is the nature of truth. If one thing is right, its opposite must be wrong. And yet, dichotomies like this are not enough to explain the world in all of its complexity. It seems like my previous incarnation wasn't the most likable individual. <laughs> trying to hurt your feelings or anything, but... If we were enemies, why are you trying to help me find the truth? Uh, this is so frustrating! This guy's he's got so much to answer... Lesser Lord Kusanali, as the God of Wisdom, I trust that everything you told me must be true. Yes, it's all true. I can even show you the memories themselves, if you're... Please, I want to see them for myself. I want to experience my own transgressions. Even though it will cause your present self great mental anguish? Oh, I'm just a puppet. With no heart and no name. There is nothing in this world for me to cling to. To fill the void within me. Except maybe these sins that can never be undone. Very well. As you wish. Wait, shouldn't we go with him? This one- Don't worry. Whatever danger I might face, it's my burden to bear. Traveler, could I ask you to supervise him on my behalf? Oh, good boy. Understood. <sighs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> ich hab gedacht, wir sind fertig. Right now, you're in a dream I created using infra- These memories will show you the raw truth. 
Sounds like an immersive experience. You don't need to do this for me. I don't deserve your... We never give up halfway. All right. Wanderer, this is the Shake Pavilion. In your Balladeer incarnation, this is where the Electro Archon placed you after your creation. You have... Is that because this is kind of like his birthplace? You could say that in a second. I hear footsteps. This place is huge. I can't believe the landslide didn't fill it in. I wonder who built it. The Crystal Marrow Miners? No, there's no way. Look at this exquisite construction work. Hmm? There's someone passed out on the ground. <sighs> you're awake. What hap- Huh. Not a scratch. And these fine clothes- This man is Katsuragi, deputy to Torichiyo's adopted son, Mikoshi Nagamasa. He found the Balladeer in Shake Pavilion and took him back to Tatarasuna. And the rest is history. In the original version of events, Katsuragi was ultimately killed by Nagamasa. Let me get you out of here. Our people are nearby. During the Tatarasuna incident, Niwa was murdered by the doctor disguised as a mechanic. The Balladeer, then known as the Kabukimono, disappeared not long after. As the second in command at Tatarisuna, responsibility for what had happened fell to Mikoshi Nagamasa. But Katsuragi had sworn lifelong loyalty to Nagamasa after the latter had once saved his life. At Katsuragi's insistence, Nagamasa killed him to put an end to the Tatarisuna incident. <sighs> Katsuragi seems like he was a good guy. He looks like a warrior. But he has a kind face. Why couldn't he live a long and happy life? Nagamasa, I found this young guy in a cave sealed off by a landslide. He doesn't remember his name. Well, we need to call you something. I hear the workers are calling you the Kabuki Mono. Hmm, that's fine with me. Katsuragi, report to Niwa. Tell him we have someone new joining us. abandoned like you I lived here for a while at first but there's nothing for us here okay I heard my mom and dad used to make swords but the factory manager died and then my dad got sick he kept coughing all the time just like me but you can't you promised me yep we're family now we're gonna be together forever and ever this child didn't have a name. Or rather, the Balladeer didn't know what to call him. His father died before he could name him. After his mother died, the child stayed in their straw hut alone. Some of the- After leaving Tatarasuna, the Balladeer ran into this child who didn't have a name, just like him. They made a promise to live together. What happened to the child then? He died from his illness while he was still very young. The Balladeer came home one day, and found that he had stopped breathing. Hey! What's wrong? Say something! You promised me we could be family! You're no different from Niwa and all the others. <sighs> the voices have gone. It looks like the mem- Let's keep going. Ha. Vorbeigeschossen. Oder ich war einfach zu klein mit. You do realize you're blocking my path. 
I come not to obstruct you. I've been waiting. What you are truly is a weapon. One that could be wielded with an iron will. Or you could continue to drift aimlessly. Are you trying to win me over? A long fated rebellion has begun. Why not take your place at the banquet and join those who shall feast? Teamwork is dreamwork! This isn't good. <laughs> Work time! Time for takeoff! Put your back into it! Don't be a killjoy! Mm. <laughs> I'll just be done! Yeah! 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 Miscalculated! <laughs> This place is dark. <sighs> Hyman knows this place. In the original version of events, the Traveler once encountered the Balladeer here. Such a creepy atmosphere. Hey, look over there! Well, well, my fair lady. Is this rundown factory and these incompetent fools all for me? <laughs> What do you have to gain from belittling your subordinates? You might not want to admit it, but you are a part of this plan. Perhaps you find fighting in the Abyss to be a more meaningful use of your time? Oh, but of course, even this pales in comparison to being experimented on by the Doctor. Das Vergangenheit, bevor sie stirbt, ne? Das ist jetzt nicht, weil er das jetzt sich geändert hat. Lebt sie jetzt auf einmal wieder, oder? Das ist einfach nur Vergangenheit, bla bla. Sie ist trotzdem tot. <lacht> Hoffe ich. <lacht> What a sharp tongue you have. Funny how negotiating never seems to be your strong suit. For the task ahead, I suggest you keep your true feelings to yourself. Hm. Save your breath. I know what I have to do. I'm sure you think so, but I still think you need to hear it. Don't start thinking you're invincible. And don't let your emotions get in the way. Surely you're not worried about me. I just can't have you getting in my way. You and Child never fail to find ways to complicate things. I'm merely lighting a little fire in this chaotic nation. But you, being tossed out like trash, must make you want to destroy it completely. Do you remember the last time you were here? That was a lot of swordsmiths you killed. I'm sure the descendants of the ride in Gokaden are still suffering the consequences now. Look at you. Oh, don't get so sentimental. Now, give that poor little tongue of yours a rest, and stop pretending like you're above everyone else. Bye then. See you at the victory feast. Poor little tongue? <laughs> She's playing with fire talking to me like that. <sighs> Forget it. Someone might find me here any minute now. <sighs> the plot does not end here. There is more of this story to come. Wanderer, are you able to continue? Yes. Please don't worry about me. Why are you staring at me in silence? <laughs> Can't you think of a nicer way to express yourself? I'm under no obligation to be nice to you. Besides, I thought nothing mattered to you except results in your own interests. Isn't that right, witch? <laughs> Muddle-headed puppet. You're only number six because you can take more abuse than other humans. Do you really count that as an asset? You're about as much fun to be around as a raging inferno. But before we mer-
Looks like we've arrived in Sumeru. Uh... Is that...? Considering that Amorta's sage, Nafis, refused to join this project, I'll take part in the experiment in his place. Welcome. I look forward to a fr <sighs> When do we start? You seem impatient. You should know that becoming... The biological transformation is a lengthy process. As such, I too would recommend that we commence as soon as possible. In the event that a successful connection is established, his body will become permanently bound to the machine. Nothing worse than what I've been through before then, Doctor. You were the most resilient test subject I ever came across. Thanks to you, I was able to garner a great deal of information. Alas, after that, you were under orders to remain in the Abyss. We barely saw each other, and it became difficult to further refine the knowledge I had gained. That was gracefully worded. Ever wonder what they think if they knew that nothing matters to you? I suggest you speak to me in a more respectful tone, Scaramouche. The mere fact of your utility does not make you indestructible. The doctor again? Oh, that was uncomfortable to watch. That person gives off a very sinister energy. It's normal for him to give you the creeps. He scares the bejeebers out of time. <laughs> Let's move on. You're a god. Do you think I'm evil? If you accept that he is you, just as you are you, then yes, you are evil. In your eyes, are there any differences between humans and puppets? Do you think there are any differences between your present self and your previous and future incarnations? If not, then what are the differences between humans and puppets? Whoever has tasted the joys and sorrows of life in the human realm is human. Whoever has loved and lost, cried with grief, howled with rage at the tragedy of death that eclipses the miracle of life, they are human too. <sighs> I've seen enough of my past. If possible, I'd like to reclaim the sins that are mine to bear. No matter the consequences, I won't run from blame or punishment. Whatever I am due, let it come to pass. Can you return my memories to me? Huh? But won't that mean you'll lose your current identity? I've always believed that human lives follow a set of rules. With each person being a collection of past experiences. As a puppet living in a human world, my life is subject to the same rules. Regaining your memories means reverting completely to your previous incarnation. All the emotions that you discarded will return to you. Are you sure you want to do this? I've lived with a void in my chest my whole life. My creator didn't need me. And ever since I awoke, I've just drifted from one place to the next. But then I met you. And I finally realized that reclaiming my missing sins might be my one opportunity to... Become my true self. I've always felt I have an innate tendency to yearn for something more, in a way that goes deeper than for most people. But for all my soul searching as a Shugenja, I've never fully understood it. So I beg you, grant. Very well. Since your mind is made up, I will return to you that which is yours. You have made your decision. Now, take this. <sighs> Set him free. A puppet? What's he doing here? It's... You're a human as far as I'm concerned. Everyone's here. Wonderful. What a fine blade. Nagamasa will be thrilled. Uh, uh, this is... my... Uh. Uh, is he alright? Come <laughs> on! 
all worthless dross will be purged. That's why this won't be the end. 